Hello. Hi. Welcome to my outside office as you're trickling in. I'm going to set up. Set up the camera. Hey, 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 you're in my outside office. I'm a home office worker and I swear I go outside. Today, I'm going to show you MailChimp. I'm putting together um, the notes for my live webinar tune-up that I'm doing for Tin Shingle this week. And I'm giving you a teaser of what you're going to see in that. And as a special treat today, you're going to see um, how we can do, hey, Jewelry Biz Guru, how we can do an amazing layout like I saw our friends today do at Alley NYC. So if you're just trickling in, I'm going to give you a little bit of time here. Um, and I'll introduce myself and tell you where you can get more of this information this week also live. Hey! Hello, Cindy. Thanks for coming in. So today is MailChimp time. I am Katie Helmuth Martin. I'm a co-founder of Tin Shingle, which is an online resource for small businesses to get the word out about their businesses using our tips, tools, training, and wonderful community. Um, it's over at tinshingle.com. Every Wednesday, we have a live webinar tune-up. And this Wednesday at 12 o'clock Eastern, we're doing... I am your teacher, I am your host, and we're going to focus on MailChimp and how to make um, a really great looking newsletter. I'm providing you with some design tips and ideas for a great email campaign. So right now, I'm going to take you into my MailChimp and show you a trick, um, not even a trick, I'm going to show you a design that I saw today in my inbox from another company called Alley NYC. They're a shared workspace in New York City. I always love their newsletters and I always love um, the layout of it. Today was no exception. So they, let me show it to you. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see it. Okay, ready? One, two, three. All right. Here is Alley NYC's newsletter. And it's pretty easy to look at. You got pictures, you got all these lines. See these lines right these they do a lot of scheduling. They have a lot of classes, a lot of events that they're always promoting. Um, and what I noticed here today, they make use of my most favorite tool in MailChimp. It is my most favorite button that you can use in MailChimp. It is so easy to do. And they've they've like done it on crack today in their newsletter. I just can't believe it. I love the use of this and I'm going to show you how you can easily, easily do this and why this tool that MailChimp's made available is such a time-saving trick um, that you can use when you're doing um, your designing. So as you get to do your newsletter building, especially using MailChimp, you'll be able to spot tricks like this and styles and techniques that other companies have done, you'll be able to identify them and say, aha, I can use that in my design too. So let's go take a look at it. P.S. I'm outside in my outside office and I just heard thunder. <laughs> I hope I don't get rained on. Um, let's go take a look at MailChimp here. Here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to make a little bit of this newsletter to show you how easy it is. This was a great way to break apart or to show off um, schedules. So here we are in MailChimp, and if you're here, I'm at the templates area, and this is where you can design a template that you're gonna use again and again and again. And I'm going to create a new template. It's only gonna take a couple minutes. And here's the dreaded blank canvas, right? I'm gonna pick the easiest one. This means I'm gonna deal with some text here, maybe a big picture, some more text. Let's pick it, it's super easy to work with. Now, I've heard people um, before say, how do I get my image at the top of my newsletter? And they don't know how. Well, I'll show you right here. You click this button, Browse. And then I'm going to get to show you my favorite button. The great thing about when you're working in MailChimp is if you've uploaded images before, they're very easy to find. You just use this little search box right here. For my big picture, for my image that I'm having at the top, I know that I'm going to, for, for today's purpose, use kind of the universal um, header that we use on other um, newsletters over at Tin Shingle. And I know that at one point I named it header, like the file name, so I just typed it in right there and bam, it pulled up all of the images that I've used before. So I know I want that one and I click select, oh, and it's there. So that makes us feel better, right? Um, right, now again, I'm gonna use this content, but it's distracting me that um, all of this is here. So I'm just going to delete it. 
so that we can look at something that is not so distracting. I'm not gonna write the actual words here because today is just a template and I'm gonna show you right now my favorite button that these guys over in this newsletter you cracked out on. Like there's so much of it and I love it. Here's what they did. Back over in MailChimp, we're looking at this button. Here's all of your tools that you get to use. It's the most handy um, editor that I've ever seen and ever used. And the one I'm using today is just called Button. And what this does, the reason it's a, a time saver and a money saver is because that little um, tool just created for you like a graphic button that your, your graphic designer used to have to make for you maybe in Photoshop or in Illustrator or somewhere else. And they used to have to do that, but now MailChimp, I just dragged it over. And what's even better about this thing is that you can change the text, you can change the width of it, how much color is gonna be here, how much space is gonna be above and below. So let's, so let's see how. So I'm gonna back it up. This is what it looks like on the left. On the right is where I'm gonna edit it. So let's say I'm gonna, I'm having some events. I'll say event, scad, Oh, can't spell and talk at the same time. Hold on. Um, here we go. All right, event schedule. Now, what's funny about these things, let's go over and look at this newsletter again. It's gonna turn into this, folks. And these can all be links. Why? Because MailChimp said they can. So in the editing area, this can all be a link. So let's say it's like my major event schedule. I'll go link it up to, um, I could link it up to, we have a calendar of all of our upcoming tune-ups, uh, live tune-up webinars for the, for the year. You can go there and see what they are. And I could link to that if I wanted to. Right now I'm just going to link to the homepage. You know what, this is the MailChimp brand color. It's not my brand color, so I'm going to go change it. Here's where I'm going to do that. These are also very powerful areas that you should investigate. The one we're in now is called content. The next one is called style, and the next one is called settings. And behind these doors are very important things that you can mess around with. Uh, the first one I'm gonna show you for effect is in settings. It's called width, and what it's gonna do is, it's gonna pop this and make it longer. Right now, I'm gonna say, over here in width, I'm gonna say, go to full width. Bam, look at that. Look at that design, it just got really wide, really fast, and it's in the center. Okay, great, I've aligned it in the center. Great, it's taking up the whole thing, so kinda don't care. Border radius, let's look at this. I'm gonna save and close this for a minute. The border radius means this corner. Is this a really round corner? Is it a, is it a 90 degree angle? What is it? If I'm gonna make it to be looking like these guys, where it's just a list of events, I want no border on that. Then it looks like a straight bar, like, like just a divider. So let's go edit. Whenever you do, you click on this little pencil and I'm going to edit you. I'm gonna to go to the style and my border radius is gonna be, I'm gonna say one, just to be safe. And I don't want blue, I'm gonna change the background color to be black. So I can click here and get kind of a dark color. Great, event schedule, save and close. All right, cool, that was easy. Look at that big effect. Oh, I want a bunch of them, I want like 20 of them. I wanna be like these guys and totally crazy with it. I easily press this duplication button. See this little plus sign? That means you're gonna duplicate it. Done, I already have two. Okay, great. Um, I think I want a different color. I'm gonna do yellow, just like they did. Okay, so where is that? Over in my style, over in my colors, go to my little color area, do the slider. Here I am in the slider. Go, doop. where's my yellow? Yeah, give me some yellow, right? Oh wow, that's really bright, cool. Really bright, can't read the words anymore, not a problem. I'm gonna change the color of those words, so easy. I, I clicked save just to make sure everything was saved. I'm gonna go back in to my little edit button and find, go back into style and find the color. What is my color of this going to be? What's my text color? It's gotta be black. There we go, I can read it again. And of course, um, I don't want it to say event schedule. I went. I might want it to say like what's happening on Tuesday, Tuesday's event. It could be the whole entire title of something going on. So I could say um, Tuesday. 
and I would change the URL if I had an actual sign up date for that like to go sign up I could just change the URL if you're at Eventbrite if you're at anywhere you just put that URL right here and then bam the people go over there now let's let's make a couple of these let's be like oh here's Wednesday's schedule okay sure Wednesday yeah Wednesday all right, and I'm done, but you know what? I kind of want to say something to the people now. I don't want to just list all these things. I want to say something. Well, over with MailChimp, hi, friendly buttons that I can click at any time. I'm going to drag over. I want some words. So this little text box, I'm going to drag him over. Boop. Oh, is he there? Oh, there he is. There's some words. This is a text block. It sure is, and I can add some more content. Hi, exclamation point, but you know, I'm going to say something real. Save and close, and it could be a whole paragraph. But let's say I want to do this again. I want to like mimic this whole thing. What are we going to do, guys? What button are we going to push? That's right, the duplicate, the duplicate block button. Now, I don't want it under there. I want to move it under here. So I'm going to, when I hover over this little, um, you know, these little dots appear. I can grab them, double, double tap and drag them under to there. Bam. Yes, this is so easy. And these lines, the reason I like them so much, I use them all the time in Tin Shingle newsletters. Um, the reason I like them so much is they are visually so impactful. If you have a lot of content, you can use these to easily break apart what's going on in your newsletter. Um, so here we go. I'm just gonna recreate it. Oh, I want a duplicate. I don't need two Tuesdays. I need it down here. Drag them. Okay, well, what if it's a different kind? Like, what if these events are, like, jewelry events for people who work with metal? Okay, those guys are, are yellow. Well, what if these events, or maybe this is for, like, events for people who need to deal, like, they're going to learn about how to ship to customers really well, and there's all these different kinds of events. Maybe these events are how to market to your customers. So maybe these should be a different color. Maybe... They could be, let's go to style. I don't know, when you're marketing, what color should that be? Where's my color? Where's my color? Here you are. No, that's text color. Here you are. Background. Oops, you weren't seeing it. Background. So if I'm marketing to my people, if these are all going to be marketing classes, actually, like if you run a community and you're telling people when they can go to different events that you're having, maybe it's a different color. Guys, sky's the limit with this. You can do so much. So I've shown you one of my favorite tools in MailChimp today. I'm going to be showing you a lot more and designing a whole other newsletter on Wednesday during Tin Shingle's live webinar tune-up. That looks like this. If you go to tinshingle.com uh, forward slash tune-up, you can sign up right now um, for this live webinar. It is free. The, re the live version is free. Recorded versions are always made available in our archives. and. Um, members of Tin Shingle, premium members can get them all for free. But if you're here, if you're available Wednesday at 12 o'clock Eastern, you register right now, it's free. And I'm going into a lot more detail um, on this webinar. I'm talking about design elements you'll need before designing your own newsletter. I'll turn this around. If you have any questions, type them here too, because I'm putting together the outline now for the class. So if you have any questions, type them here, let me know, because I might be able to um, incorporate them into the webinar, and I'd love to answer your questions. So we'll talk about design elements you'll need before designing your own newsletter, so everything you need in place before you go make that template and tackle it. The biggest time and money saving trick contained in just one MailChimp button. I kind of showed you that right now, but I'm going to do it again at the webinar. Two ways to slice and dice a text-heavy newsletter. Yes, there's two, not one, but two of my favorite ways to condense um, text-heavy. If you got a lot of text, you just can't bring yourself to not tell your people about something, I'll tell you how you can do this in a visually appealing way. Um, a truth bomb that you must face before sending another newsletter. Sabina and I are going to have a truth bomb with you before you do that newsletter because it's something you need to have with yourself and accept before you send it out. Um, demonstration of new design tricks that anyone can do simply and quickly. We kind of looked at that today, but we're going to be looking at more of them on Wednesday. Uh, demonstration of new design. Oh, yeah. A tour of analytics in MailChimp to discover what your readers are responding to and how to improve your communication with them. What your readers want, it's all there in your own analytics. The only way to do it is by sending newsletters to them. So you're going to have to learn what they like. Um, 
what they get used to and whatnot, but we're gonna tell you how to look at that stuff so that you can do more of it and make your readers really happy. So join me on this Wednesday at tinshingle.com forward slash tune up, click the register button. It'll link you right over to, to um, a free sign up and you can just put in your info and you'll have the call in details and I'll see you there. Um, if you're not already, go sign up for our free newsletter that comes out weekly that has uh, tips for you to get the word out about your business in PR, social media, web design, newsletter design, all of that. And if you liked this broadcast right now, you can share it by swiping to the right of your on your screen and hitting that little share button. Thank you, Cindy. You're awesome too, Jewelry Biz Guru. Anyone, if there's any jewelry designers on today's call, definitely that little Jewelry Biz Guru, tap that, tap her, and you must probably know of her already, um, but a lot of resource comes out of there for, um, for people in the jewelry design business. I will talk to you guys soon. Anywhere, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope. See you later.